Oh, I've gone so many days without food and I feel great. I feel so great. And our phone holder's broken. It, bear with us for a second. Look at this. This is where the phone holder is, right? And as we're sitting here, the zoom isn't quite right. You can get me, you can get her, you can get like this jubilee jumble mess. I can do one of these and make everyone really motion sick. But it doesn't quite work at that position. So you get to see us over here. Hey, how's it going? Do you want to not eat with us? We'll go out on a not lunch date. We have found the, the cure-all, the <laughs> magic trick, the easy solution to all your diet health problems. It will solve everything. <laughs> Just buy our product for $9.99 per minute. No, no, don't buy anything. It's free. Absolutely free. Yeah, the, the trick is... Uh, Actually, I would just like to say thank you to Mr. Cole Robinson for exposing me to these ideas. Um, I feel like I owe some kind of uh, gratitude to this person. He has coined the term the snake diet, and it's changed our lives completely. Um, we talked about this a little bit in the first fat loss diary, and uh, maybe we're just going to expand on it a little more here for you, vlog style. Um, yeah. We did a, a five-day water fast. I threw in a dry fast in there. You can see the video. Um, and then we did a, a little refeed. Did another three-day. Did a few refeeds with some family stuff. Some people came and visited. And then we did another two-day fast. And then after that, we followed that with eight days of drinking and partying and celebrating. <laughs> because we had family over, baptisms. Yeah, and that's how, it's like, great celebrations. Vegas trip. <laughs> yeah, we went to Vegas. I mean, we spent eight... It was between five and ten days. I don't know off the top of my head what it was. But it was between five and ten days of going back to regular eating patterns, eating two meals a day, eating one meal a day, um, just kind of all over the board. Not really tracking what we're eating, eating carbs, eating no carbs, eating high fat, just wherever the day took us, that's what we did. Yeah. And we even started drinking coffee. Yeah, we, we, we went back to drinking some coffee. We had alcohol, like we said, with some family celebration. Um, like it was not a very disciplined 10 days, okay? We did one day of fasting. We're like, okay, we're gonna go back into a fasting lifestyle. Let's get back on the fasting train. We did one day, and the next morning we weigh ourselves. We weigh exactly the same as when we started. So... Not when we started oh, fasting, excuse me. but when... After we finished our eight days of fasting originally, yes. our 532. And so for reference for some actual numbers, before any of this, I weighed 180 pounds. And I was 100 and almost 50, 148. 148, 180. We did the eight days. I went down to 169. No, excuse me. No, yeah, 169, somewhere around there. Right? I lost about 10 pounds. And where did you end up after the eight days? The final one was 136. Okay. So, hey, 12 pounds. Yeah, so when we wow. restarted and we weighed ourselves, I was 139. So, right. after our eight to 10 days of debauchery, you would yeah. only gain like three pounds, all which was lost in the first day. Yeah. And it was the same with me. I was 169 when we weighed ourselves after that first day. So, maintaining your weight with uh, kind of a one meal a day approach to things because there were some days we just we didn't eat till much later in the day we just had stuff to do yeah. and then we would eat way too much and drink a cocktail and, and we weren't that hungry like even when we were yeah. eating we were eating because like we're in Vegas we want to get the experience and see yeah. who there is we want to get the culture like all those things but not every time we ate we were hungry right it was really nice the first the original 10 day fast even the three feet and all it kind of like stopped that addiction of like I have to eat three days a, like three days a week I have to eat three times a week or mm. three times a day <laughs> <laughs> now it is three times a week right, right? Yeah. yeah that's that was a really big plus of, of doing these fasts is realizing how addicted to food we are and we're in fairly good shape we work out very regularly we're good on our cardio we 
we like to lift weights and we go on hikes. We walk every day. Our friends think we're silly for wanting to lose more weight. But when you, for, in my case, you see me without a shirt on, it's like, oh, I see what he's trying to fix. All right, we're all, we've all been in places like that, fair. Um, Overall, the like population of at least the United States, we're fairly large. We're yeah. fairly large. Like we all have a few extra pounds on a few extra diseases or rashes or skin problems that we can get rid of. Hormone issues, all yeah. kinds of stuff. Just because you're carrying extra weight. So we've noticed to finish up that food addiction thing, like how addicted to food we've been. As you're going through the day and you're thinking, I need to eat something, but you're not actually hungry. Yeah. There's there's actually no need to eat right now. I'm fine. It's more of a habit. Yeah. And that was something I, I had no realization of before these fasts. I just, I just figured like, if I'm gonna lose weight, I've got to lower my calorie intake. I've got to jog more. I've got to go harder in the gym, put less in my body. And the solution has been so much more simple. Just literally stop eating. The fat melts off. I've lost no strength. I've gotten stronger in some cases. I can do more pull-ups. But I arguably have also lost weight. So the pull-ups maybe became easier. So I, I can see arguments of that. Uh, but I'm not worried about strength loss in the slightest, are you? No. No, we're getting, um, what are those scans called, babe? Oh, we're doing DEXA scans later this week. So we'll get kind of like a midway slash starting progress report. And then uh, we'll do it again when we've hit our aesthetic goals. When we look like what we want to look like. Yeah. Then we'll do the DEXA scans again. Yeah, we're really excited. It tells you all sorts of things. It tells you how much fat you have in your body. It tells you if you have any muscle imbalances between your legs or arms. And it gives you all kinds of interesting information if you want to keep track of your body. Yeah. I'd like to talk for a second about different benefits this lifestyle has given me. Yeah. The past, past few weeks noticing these things. Um, I've had different rashes on my body, whether it was athlete's foot, or I had heat rash when I moved to California. That was horrible. Uh, and there's a siren of someone, nothing, never mind. Um, and doing this fasting, cutting out all sugar, stopping eating for a few days, it was as if my body has had a chance to catch up with these different rashes. I've always had some kind of skin issue, and now they're just gone. Red marks, itchy marks, everything's just gone. My skin's like, thank you, gave me a chance to, to kick out the intruder. Everything's better. And I don't know, that's a huge blessing to me, because I've always just thought, like, you, you have athlete's foot, you're going to have to deal with that. No, you can, you can get rid of it with some care, maintenance, change your socks a lot, and uh, give your give your body a chance to build its immune system up rather than digest a bunch of food. Uh, have you noticed anything like that? So have you noticed any like health benefits, like per se, like physical things? But my mind is more clear. I'm less anxious than I than I than I've been. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm less anxious. I feel like I think more clearly. I get more things done in a day. Crazy focus. It's like, I don't have to think about three meals a day and cooking and cleaning and whatever. It's like, you just, you know, we're not eating today. Oh, look, I got my water. You, like, if you're not working out one liter, I've, I've noticed for me, like, drinking one liter of water is more than enough. Like, we have, like, hot, <laughs> hot tea. Or we have, like, high on pepper and lemon tea at night. Yeah. So... You don't, even need, you don't need that much. I just, you just work. I get everything done. I get more than I expect to get done. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, I, like mental health, incredible. Focus is through the roof. Yeah. It's amazing. Um. So that's a plus. Mental health is good. Yeah. Any kind of afflictions are going away. I. I stopped fasting, I had like two meals, and I get a weird cold sinus infection thing that is clinging on. Um, you might hear I'm a little stuffed up, I've been coughing a little bit this video and the last one. Uh, great thing, I'm now on day three of a fast, doing ice baths, and the nose clears right up. It's like my body was, was busy. Uh -huh. uh, digesting food, doing our, our business trip to LA, uh, excuse me, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and uh, and then I stopped feeding it. It's like okay, now we can we can work on getting rid of the the remnants of this cold. Yeah, it's 
it's been amazing. And it's been a really, really great journey. I'm really excited to see what other benefits we get from it as we incorporate it more into our lives as a more regular yeah. habit as opposed to this, like, oh, we're going to try this thing out. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to make this a part of my life. Because when we were when we we're eating on a standard American diet, not necessarily the contents of the food, but the timing, This these past 10 days before the fast, second fast, um, I don't feel as good. I feel thicker. I feel actually more sluggish. I feel more anxiety, like she's talking about. Um, more worry over things. A higher stress level. I've, <laughs> I don't feel as satisfied with a meal either when we actually do eat. I, I don't know. It doesn't feel natural to me to be eating, not necessarily every day, but multiple times a day. It just doesn't doesn't work for me. What I've noticed also is getting into our original five day fast, that was really hard. Yeah. It was really hard. For day one was like not so bad. I was at work all day, so it was really busy. So I like, I, I, I miss meals at work anyway. So it's like, eh, it's not that bad. Day two, I was so slow. I was so sick. I had no energy. I was, I had, I had this pounding in my head. Day three, I was a little better. You were, you were, just not my day there. three, horrible. Day yeah. three, just sluggish. My body's like, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> but then day four comes around. We're both feeling great. It's great. All like the anxiety's all gone, and we feel more clear, more productive. It was really nice. Like the way we timed it was really well because it was. I work. I work Monday to Friday, so our first day one was on Friday, and then the bad days were the weekend. So we got to like be sluggish, watch movies, chill out. <laughs> Netflix and die. <laughs> <laughs> But then everything just got a lot better, and then I did the rest of the work week with no food, and it was like nothing. This time around, it was really easy. Like it was really easy yeah. to get back into it. Like no yeah. problems. I was a little sluggish. Would you say day one, day two? Day one, we were a little sluggish. Uh, we also had to keep in mind we were driving back from Vegas, which is an eight to ten hour judge. drive. Yeah. Yeah. So that could also have to do with the sluggishness. Fair. I feel like day two, I was a little anxious. I, I. My stress levels went way up for little things, like the light turned red while I was driving. I was like, ah, yeah. the world's terrible. And, and so I noticed that as a transition of getting into this fasting period now. Um, but now, day three, like I woke up as if I were a little child. I woke up like, it's all still here. It's another adventure I get to have today to explore. Ah! I was so happy waking up today. And, oh, energy levels. When we're fasted, say like now day three, we're, we're completely transitioned into eating body fat. I am so full of energy all day. And there's no spikes or crashes there. Yeah, you never feel like, energy. oh, I need a cup of coffee to keep going. You never need caffeine, ever. You never need it. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing. You, you get sleepy at the end of the day, but you're waking up at 6 a.m. and wanting to go to bed by 10, like that's, that's natural. And sleep is good. It's so sleep good. is so fulfilling. Yeah. I feel like my I'm more rested. I'm getting better sleep. Um, I feel like I don't need as much either. If I wake up and it's 4 a.m. or something, and our birds outside our window, they love 4 a.m. <laughs> They're a natural alarm clock for 4 a.m. But when I get woken up or, or I wake up to go to the bathroom or something, I'm not frustrated. I'm just like, oh, well, I'll either fall back to sleep or I guess it's time to wake up. Yeah. No problem. Great. Um, like today we woke up before our alarm. It was really nice. So good. Very peaceful. And it's just what works for us. I think uh, I'm going to speak for both of us, but I feel like our, our natural cycle is fast and then feast. And on those feast days, you can't get more than X amount of calories in, as, especially when you're starting. Like even if you sat down and you ate 4,000 calories, your you body... Won't be able to. You, you won't be able to eat all of them if they're in a certain form. Like, um, like 4,000 calories of potatoes, good luck. Okay. Uh, but your body isn't going to absorb all of that. Your body's going to use what it needs and then go on with it. Yeah. You'll be fine. So it, it'll be very hard on one meal a day, one meal every two days. It'll be very hard to gain a bunch of weight, is, is what I'm guessing from our anecdotal experience of this 10-day... Las Vegas craziness. Yeah. 
and that's a beautiful thing. I was worried we're going to go on this fast and then we're going to get off of it and all the weight will come back or all the health issues will come back or what have you, right? And instead, the weight stayed pretty much the same. Um, the health issues didn't come back. Three days of fasting. And I think the mental health stuff... It's like you, you just train your body, right? So if I've trained my body for the last 26 years to be anxious, and now if I put like this fasting lifestyle, if I incorporate it into my daily routine or into my weekly routine or whatever we decide to do, and we train our minds to be less anxious, that, oh my God, the light turned red, not a problem. Oh my God, someone, I stubbed my toe, not a problem. You know, like, even then, even during high meal times, your mind will be used to, it's not a problem, less anxious. That's a really good point. You have to train yourself to be less stressed. Train your mind to, uh, to react to things differently, really. You know, this should be mandatory, actually, for students. Anyone who's a yes. you know, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, PhDs, anything so high stress for no damn reason and deadlines for just random, like, no reason, no one in life will ever give you such crazy deadlines. They need to do this kind of stuff. Just to bellow out. So are you specifically talking about training yourself to be less stressed or fasting? Um, if we were both. Kind of both, because, like, in my... What I'm saying right now is that we're training ourselves to be less stressed via fasting. Mm. Obviously, there are other ways to do this, I'm sure. None that I really know of that have been this effective, but I'm sure there are things out there. Look how smart she is putting those things together. Oh my goodness. I'm so, I'm so lucky. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, if you are thinking about losing some weight, you're thinking of carrying up some some health issues that are going on in your life, I would highly recommend doing a, a fast, a salt water fast. Look up the snake diet. Yeah, let's add a link in the bottom. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that in the video posting, okay? Yeah, it's how to start for the dummies. Yeah, it's how to start for dummies. It's wonderful. Um, full disclosure though, Cole is very vulgar. Yeah, he's very vulgar. He does a an incredible shock and awe kind of presentation where he uses uh, lots of words that people might not find appropriate. He's very not PC. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's great. That's a wonderful thing because that's that's um, the message he's trying to send. It's like you need to use that kind of shock and awe routine to reach people. No more babying ourselves. You know, he tells you exactly what you need to hear, but exactly what you don't want to hear. I, I feel like it's a tough love thing. Yeah. We don't have a lot of tough love in society. So... Just take it with a grain of salt. Take a deep breath. Don't take it personally. Go listen to his words. Yeah, listen to what he's saying. He, he makes a lot of good points, even yeah. through the vulgarity. And I feel like that's something that's really lacking in our culture, is this critical pulling apart of ideas, where you can listen to someone and completely disagree with them, or you can, you can take offense from them, but if the message is good, or it's something that you can work with, then you use that message. Yeah. People just don't do that. They write some people off. Or... Those, are, those, are, those are good lessons, I, I think, we've, we've been learning through church mm. and other experiences. That All kinds We need of stuff. to do that. Pull things apart. There's a car there. I'm just kidding. I tease her all the time with driving. He's just normally always very scared of driving. I'm very scared of of being a passenger, and I get really stressed while driving sometimes, and I just... Just keep you fasted until you just <coughs> calm down. I'm going to have to not eat food until <laughs> cars aren't scary anymore. <laughs> anyway, I think that kind of covers it. We're getting a little off topic. Uh, yeah. Go fast. Go spend 24 hours not eating. See what it does for you. Do 48. If you're still alive at the 48 uh, when it ends, do 72. Yeah, try it out. Try it. Just try it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.